You are watching the Pensions Funding Plan. This presentation will show you how the Dakotas Conference Board of Pensions manages their various funds in order to provide benefits to clergy in North and South Dakota. This presentation is aimed at those that are mildly curious, those that maybe you've heard about the pension rebates and health flex rebates and you're wondering how can they afford to do this or maybe you just want to make sure that your benefits are are going to be there when you retire but you don't want to spend a whole lot of time and learn all the numbers inside and out this is for you if you are more than just mildly curious you can read the full comprehensive benefit funding plan which is printed in the journal or you can try cornering one of our board of pensions members and asking them various questions as well. Now I would liken the pensions funding plan to this. This is a standard blue rain barrel and a rain barrel is good for one thing and that is collecting rain. Now during the wet seasons you, what you'd want to do is collect a lot of rain and you collect it for a purpose. You don't collect it to put it on a shelf somewhere but you collect it to be used during the dry spells and so a lot of times what you'll see on the bottom of these rain barrels is a spigot so and I, this one doesn't have one so what I'll do is I'll poke a little hole and that represents the use of this rain that we've collected so a rain barrel that exists to catch rain to be used for a purpose in the future this is the board of pensions rain barrel there's a number of differences between that and the standard blue one. The first of all, it doesn't collect rain, it collects money. And we're collecting that money for a purpose. We're not collecting it to put it on a shelf or anything like that. We're collecting it for a purpose. So we'll put a spigot down there. And that represents the pension payments that we have to make to our retirees, or the pension contributions that have to be made for our active pastors, or the health insurance premiums that we have to pay every month. And also another difference between this and the standard blue rain barrel is that it is multicolored. And the purpose of this is that when the funds are at a certain level, that guides our decisions that we make. So I'm going to go through that right now. This bottom level here is kind of our danger zone. And so when our funds are at this level, we are in danger that if we have an extended dry spell, meaning that the income is not coming in the way we would hope it would, we are in danger of possibly having to cut benefits if it is an extended dry spell and we're not able to bring that level up. And so at this level, what we know we need to do as a board of pensions is we need to plan to make contributions. And we do this mainly in two ways. The first way is either through apportionments or direct bills. So we will collect money from the churches and put it into this barrel. The second way is, is that sometimes we'll have a barrel that is highly funded and then we can just move funds from that highly funded barrel over to this less funded barrel. The next level, this white level here, is kind of like limbo. Here we don't need to make any contributions, but we don't want to make any extra withdrawals. And what do I mean by extra withdrawals? So besides the standard withdrawals for pension contributions or health insurance payments, we have other extra withdrawals such as the rebate checks that are going to be going out or moving funds from one, one fund to another fund. The next section here is the yellow section and this is the one where we need to act with caution. We don't need to make any contributions but we can or we may make extra withdrawals. To date, we've never made an extra withdrawal when a fund is in the yellow level, but it is an option. The next level is the green level, and that is the go level, where we know we need to make an extra withdrawal of at least 1% of the fund. Like I said before, we are collecting these funds for a purpose, and it's not to put it on a shelf or to hoard it, so we want to put it to good use as we make disciples of Jesus Christ and we want to force ourselves to use it because we've determined that at this green level we believe it's safe that even if we have an extended downturn like the 2008-2009 recession that we will not dip into that danger zone so that's why we feel confident of making extra withdrawals and then since we feel that confident we feel it's actually an obligation for us to do so and the very last level is this blue level 
And you would see that if we were collecting rainwater, it would just be overflowing. And that's basically our thoughts, too, is that anything that gets into this blue level, we need to make plans to withdraw it and get us at least back down to the green level. Now let's look specifically at the various funds that the Board of Pensions manages. The first funds are our largest barrels. They are the pre-82 plan, which is about a $32 million barrel, and the retiree health plan, which is closer to a $14 million barrel. The pre-82 plan, you'll see, has a large amount coming out, and that's why you also need a large barrel. Over $2 million is spent to, on pension payments to our retirees that are in that plan. And this plan is actually a closed plan where nobody's earning any new benefits from the pre-82 plan. You had to have service prior to 1982 to earn any benefits from this plan. So this barrel should be getting smaller and smaller as our pre-82 retirees, the oldest of our retirees, are receiving their final appointment. Our retiree health barrel doesn't have quite as much going out of it. It's actually about $500,000 a year that goes out of it. And these funds are used to provide our contributions to retirees health reimbursement accounts or HRAs. These HRA funds are used by our retirees to cover any premiums as well as their out-of-pocket medical costs. And this plan is not a closed one like our pre-82 one. We have new retirees entering it all the time and receiving benefits. So these barrels mainly relate to our retired pastors. Our next two barrels relate more to our active pastors. And that's our current pension plan barrel and our active health barrel. Our active health barrel is a close to a $3 million barrel. And our current pension plan one is close to a $2 million barrel. And out of these, the active health, you'll see that's quite a bit coming out of it too. That's about $1.8 million coming out of it. And out of the pension plan, it's about $1.25 million coming out of it. And you could tell almost by, you remember how big the pre-82 barrel was, and it had a similar amount coming out of it, that these are much smaller, meaning that you should be worried about how much is going into these barrels to replenish them because you need a lot coming in to maintain that outflow. Our last barrels are the Benefits Office and Grants barrel and the Care and Concern barrel. The Benefits Office and Grants one, that covers the work of our Conference Benefits Officer, Leanna Stoons, as well as our grants for premiums and medical expenses. This is a fairly large barrel. It's about $3 million as well. And only about $100,000 comes out of it every year. Our newest fund is the Care and Concern Fund. And this fund is used for those pastors that are in a short-term disability situation or those that feel like they're no longer called to being a pastor in the pulpit. And this would help them transition. For a long time, we've had issues like this and never any funding to help us with them. And so a lot of the burden fell on the local church where the pastor was serving. And this would be a source where we can come alongside the local church and then the cabinet's other sources of funds that they have available to help ease some of these situations, either the short-term disability situation or the transition or exit situation. All right, so we've talked about the various barrels. That we have six barrels, and we talked about their uses. Now, how are we filling them up? Well, it'd be nice to have a big old money cloud, but we don't. So a lot of our funding comes through market returns. Much of these funds are invested in stocks and bonds with the General Board of Pensions, and these market returns are a big help. For pre-82 plan, retiree health, benefits office and grants, the majority of our incomes will come through these market returns that provide the benefits. For our current pension plan and our active health, though, we rely a lot on the local church. The local church will provide funds through direct billing and apportionments to support our current pension plan as well as the active health. And actually what you see is about the same amount coming from the local church is going out on an annual basis. That's why we stress making the direct bills a priority is because the money has to come out 
and we don't have a large slush fund barrel to make up if churches are not paying their direct bills in a timely manner. We also have another source and that's our pastor and you can see him up there with the super soaker and our pastors actually contribute about 25 percent of the cost of the premiums into our active health plan. So that is a major funding source for that active health and they are kicking into the retiree health. A certain amount of their withholding for health insurance also goes into the retiree health fund so that way that benefit when they retire will hopefully be just as valuable as it is today partially because of those extra contributions. So now you can see the overall picture we have some various large barrels we have a lot of uses and the major sources here are our market returns, our churches paying in direct bills and apportionments and then our pastors making in their salary withholdings for health insurance. Hopefully this short video has satisfied your mild curiosity and that you have more of an understanding about the work of the Board of Pensions as they try to sustain benefits and the challenges they have in managing the various funding plans.